Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Fatima. In today's video, we will be installing this unit, which is from Ali Pearl Hair. They sent me 30 inches of their deep wave. I believe all the stats for this hair will be down below in the description bar. But this hair is really big, as you guys can see. I'm definitely like shocked when I put this on. I was like, oh. <laughs> this is a lot of hair as you guys can see but I'm super excited to install this it's been a minute since I've featured curly hair on this channel I've really only been doing like body wave and straight hair so I'm definitely excited for this install so with that being said let's get right into the video So I did already go in and place my cream foundation on the inside of the lace the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is cutting off the air tabs as per usual so that the wig can fit me really nice and snug what it's looking like the wig fits me perfectly just letting you guys know I did go ahead and bleach the knots and pluck the front hole before I started filming with that being said the wig did already come pre-plucked to a certain extent so I really didn't have to do much I just plucked a little bit more um, and that was really enough so to install I'm gonna be using the Ebon Wonder Waves Bond adhesive spray the black one which is supreme I recently used this to install my last wig and the hold on this is amazing like I love this so much it's definitely one of my favorite sprays so I'm gonna go ahead and use this for this install as well honestly this melt should really be seamless because this is HD lace and HD lace from Ali Pearl um, is usually really good so Okay, so I took the elastic band off and this is what it's looking like. It already looks really good. So I'm just gonna go in and cut off all of the excess lace and then we'll see how that looks. First though, I'm just gonna go in and like comb all of the hairs in the front because they are kind of like stuck down. But now I'm gonna take my eyebrow razor and I'm just gonna go in and Cut all the place off. there was some of the spray that had gone below like the lace so I just cleaned that up with a makeup wipe and as you guys can see there's still like a white line on the lace so I'm gonna go in and spray some of the Evan spray onto my finger just a little bit and then I'm just gonna place that onto like the edges of the lace So I'm just gonna take hair out on both sides of my head just to create like two swoops and then I'm gonna take out some hair for my sideburns as well. Before I take this elastic band off, I'm just gonna hot comb everything back. Just to kind of get it out of the way. It's been about like a couple of minutes, so now I'm gonna take this elastic band off again. Oh, that looks so good. You guys, when I tell you this Ebon spray is like the truth, like it is so good. But anyway. I'm just going to comb this out. I'm going to be using mousse for this.
so I took my elastic band off this is what the baby hairs are looking like so I'm just gonna comb through them So I think I'm going to go ahead and do a side part just because I like the way my baby hair is on this side looks more than this side. So whenever that happens, usually I like to do a side part just so that like this baby hair can show more, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and use my character wax stick. I honestly need to get a new one because this is almost done but I'm gonna go ahead and place that where I parted my hair and also in the front right here on the side okay guys so now that that's done I have my part pretty much done it's time to define this hair as you guys can see the top is like definitely poofy and that's because I plucked the hair um, at the beginning and I brushed everything out so everything at the top is like really poofy and brushed out the bottom of this hair is a little bit more defined I brush everything out and then I wet it with some water and I'm also going to use some Aunt Jackie's leave-in conditioner to help define these curls One side of my hair is defined. So like I said, I used water and the Aunt Jackie's leave-in conditioner, the green bottle. You can really see the length of this hair now that the curl is defined. As you guys can see, this hair is so freaking long, even when it's curly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. So my camera died while you guys saw me putting the product in, so the water and the Aunt Jackie's leave-in conditioner. So I just charged my camera for a little bit and finished off my hair. And this is what it's looking like. It's about halfway dry, I guess you could say. Some of it is dry, um, but especially in the middle, like it's still a little bit damp. But this is what it's looking like. This hair is still so thick, even when the curls are defined. So the last thing that I'm gonna do is go in and define my part with some concealer. But yeah, you guys, look how long this hair is. Seriously, this, this is a true 30 inches, especially for curly hair. This actually feels like it may be a little bit longer than 30 inches because yeah, now that I think about it, this is curly hair. So usually 30 inches on curly hair looks shorter. The thickness of this hair is insane as well. I am just obsessed with this. I think it looks so freaking bomb and the quality on this hair is amazing. The quality of the lace is amazing. As you guys see, like the lace is pretty much melting super easily. But yeah, this is the final result. Thank you so much to Ali Pearl for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love their curly hair. Honestly, I love all Ali Pearl textures. If you guys like the video, of course, hit the like button. Leave some comments down below. Let me know if you guys are considering purchasing this unit. If you guys like the way this turned out. And of course, subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you guys in the next one.